All right, we have our timer. Folks, can you introduce yourself, please? Uh, hi, my name is Jamie Anderson. I am a ninth grade biology teacher, and I also teach a elective course called Natural History at the high school. Oh, yeah, that's uh, cool. This will be my fourth year teaching at the high school. Um, before that, I was in Holyoke and Springfield, and I really love being there. You look like you have a nice backyard situation there. Yeah, that's, uh, that's what we like to do, spending as much time as we can outside. Yeah, um, you're a biker, aren't you? I do, yeah. I love, uh, most of my time is spent trying to do something active outside. I like to bike, and we spend a lot of time at the beach. We like to surf, we like to ski, and so just trying to keep me and my kids um, having fun outside. That's cool. So what's one thing that you guys did this summer that was standout that really felt good? Uh, we've, uh, we've had, a, we've spent a lot of time at the beach, which has been great. Um, we really love the ocean and playing in the water. Um, we also got to do some camping actually recently. Um, one of my highlights was, uh, after dark, it was pretty late at night, but we all went out for a, a canoe paddle, um, out in the water and got to see the Milky Way and the cool. stars were super clear. And it was, uh, definitely a special moment. Um, you know, those little tidbits of time where things feel normal. And, and that was certainly it. Um, so that was, a, that was a special moment. That's great. Now, what do you like about that freshman biology class? What's something that you get, uh, get excited about when you teach that? Yeah, I think the most exciting thing for me is the kids. Um, I love the age group. I love the energy that's involved. I know sometimes people say, oh, freshman, all that energy. But uh, um, I actually thrive on that energy. And I, I, I really love how kids come in um excited to learn excited to to do new things but also just excited to have some fun with each other when within the class so um i think that's probably when somebody you know to answer the question with freshmen that's my favorite part is that energy oh, yeah. that they have. oh i agree i mean that's the one thing you can count on you might have to throw the brakes on but i'd rather throw the brakes on than try to push forward yeah know? this this class at times it can get hard to look at once in a while so i like yeah I like yeah the, uh, the smiles and the fun Totally. So um, describe yourself when you were a freshman. What were you like going into high school? Oh, boy. Uh, that's a great question. It's, it's awfully long ago, but uh, I was probably similar to, uh, you know, some of the characteristics that I just described. I, I think I had a lot of energy and was definitely uh, had as much focus on being social and seeing my friends as I did, uh, as well as trying to balance my studies. Um, but I really enjoyed it. Uh, I enjoyed, you know, those early years of high school for sure is making some connections with people that I still have to this day that have really um, helped me out uh, as a person. Yeah, yeah, totally. And were you always into science in high school? Was that like... No, if you, uh, if you told me as a freshman that I would be a science teacher one day, I would say that you're, uh, you're crazy. Um, you know, I'm always jealous of people that know at that age what they want to do, but I had absolutely no idea. Yeah. Um, I really was involved in ice hockey. I really liked playing that. And so my focus was there and hoping to pursue that someday. But other than that, I really had no, no idea. Um, so it, it was tough. But Yeah, yeah. No, I know I'm in the same. I would have been very surprised if you had told me I was going to be. And sometimes I think I, I, I'll be with the, my class. I'll be like, wow, I work with teenagers. Like I never thought that would happen. You mm -hmm. know, but it's a good thing. As you say, it's... Um, they, they bring a lot of energy and, and humor to the room. Yeah, I really couldn't see myself doing anything else at this mm -hmm. point in time than, than hanging out and teaching kids. I love uh, it. Yeah, I really agree. Now, is there one thing that you'd like to in, uh, implement this year, remote teaching? At least we're remote at the beginning. Is there some um, tactic or strategy you'd like to implement? Or Yeah, I mean, as best as I can is trying to find a way to get it sounds hard because we're remote, but get kids away from screens, um, it, you know, whether you're working with folks in your family or you're outside doing some journaling, like really taking this moment where we're not in a school uh, to take advantage of the, the slower pace and, and to, to let our brains kind of wrap around being outside, getting a chance to observe what's happening in autumn, you know, in, in local ecosystems. Um, so trying and I know at times it's hard because it's hard even for me to self-direct as a learner but trying mm -hmm. to um, incorporate um, activities where students can we can talk and be together but then also take a step back and and, and use outside and outdoors as a classroom yeah <clears throat> that sounds excellent I couldn't agree with you more and I think that you know during this pandemic getting outside is really important 
no matter, no yeah. matter what it is. Getting the sun on you and getting breeze on you is really key. So, and you could, your course, of course, is perfect to do that. I'm, I can imagine you're going to have all kinds of cool scavenger hunts and stuff like that. Well, that's the hope, yeah. Cool. All right, guys. Well, that's uh, Mr. Anderson. He might be your biology teacher. You're very lucky if you have him. And we'll see you soon.